County Sheriff's Department was just approved to get a new armored police vehicle. NBC 26's Holly Baker is live at five with how this heavy duty truck will be utilized. Megan, most of the cost of the new vehicle is covered by a federal grant and seeing how often resources like these are needed, the county board accepted the idea unanimously. A newer armored police vehicle is coming to Winnebago County. In a shooting situation, they can use that vehicle to move in and cover to recover shooting victims. Larry Smith of the county board says armored vehicles are more for the public's protection and are being used more frequently, like at the recent standoff at Eagle Nation Cycles in Nina and the Trestle Trail shooting. They are merely armor. It's like carrying a shield. It's like putting a big piece of body armor between you and where the bullets might be coming from. That's all they are. They have no guns mounted in them or anything else. Nina Police Chief Kevin Wilkinson agrees not every agency needs their own, but access to one is important. People think of them as tanks or uh, artillery of some kind. They, they are not. They are just big heavy trucks that stop bullets. A federal grant will cover $225,000 of the cost of the new Bearcat and the rest coming from the sale of Winnebago's current Bearcat to another agency or back to the company that makes them. And they can also be used to transport citizens away from, you know, a dangerous scene. A resource that's good to have but hopefully never needed. The board expects Winnebago County to have the new Bearcat by summertime when 17 counties total will also have access to it. Keeping you connected, Holly Baker, NBC26.